Okay, this is testing the homemade vacuum forming machine in a slightly uh, or very homemade fashion using the grill in my oven. So waiting for the plastic to heat up and get to temperature. Once it gets the right temperature I'll know because it will sag just below the aluminium frame. It will sag but hopefully not, not too much and that will kind of give me an idea of when it's, when it's ready. Um, it's starting to sag a little bit. Once it is ready it will be time to um, switch on the vacuum cleaner and pull this down so that it gets in contact with the part and with the, with the vacuum bed. So we're sagging a bit now. Should we get something to poke it with? Yep, it's starting to sag. It might be ready now. I'll just let it run for a bit to cool it down. Remove it from the heat. If I can. Look at that. It's formed really nicely to the top. I'm quite impressed actually. Very good. Got a little bit of ribbing in the corner, but not too bad. You might see that on a machine that you pay for. <laughs> that is quite good. Ah, we've had a tear. There's a hole in the middle. I don't know if you can see just there. My part's a little bit too funky shaped but it looks like it conformed to the rest of the shape of the part before that caused any real issues so, so that's quite good and it's got it's got most of the way down into there and that's exactly what I wanted I only wanted it to go up to about here so I designed the part so that it had some uh, some overlap so that any ribbing or anything didn't matter but I, I'm only interested in down to this bit really and along this line so uh, I think that's a success for the homemade vacuum former that cost me two pounds. Nice. So here we are, here's the finished piece from the vacuum forming um, and here's the mould, they're quite similar looking. It's turned out really well, I'm very impressed by it actually considering it's a home effort, didn't cost very money, very much money at all. A uh, couple of things to note, from the 3D print um, I was a bit apprehensive about whether this would work or whether this would just go all melty and it didn't do too bad but it has gone a bit melty um, so I don't know if you can see those dimples which are on there so all of these different dimples, these are from um, from the top layer of the of the 3D printed part, uh, sort of warping and getting hot and going wobbly. And th those dimples are the impression of the construction material or or the, or the infill material, is what it's called, which is which is filled inside this this part. Um, so I gave the outside thickness uh, two millimeters of, of thickness, thinking, yeah, that's that's probably as much as I want to do without turning this into a full brick. Um, and you can see the dimples I've copied across onto that, but that's not too bad. Um, and you can see obviously the layers of the 3D print have, uh, have come out in the, in the vacuum form, so it really takes the impression of all the tiny features as well. Uh, but that, for what I'm doing, I'm totally happy with that, that's not, not a problem at all. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, with the way that it turned out. Um, I think the only difference I might do next time is 
if I had to build it again I might instead of using a wooden box maybe see if I can buy a plastic box that's already made drill some holes in it rather than having to go to all the effort of fabricating a wooden one but overall pretty happy yeah